I'm trying to get closer to my lady friends. <laughs> I mean, I, I think I've learned a lot, a lot about where you guys are. I... Uh, to find out what it really feels like uh, to be a pregnant man, we decided to invite over a bunch of women over to my house and, and just sit down with them and uh, have them tell us what I should be experiencing to be a pregnant man. What should we do to me to, to make me experience symptoms that Jam you Jam and cream cheese and then one of those push little... up containers, you know? Ram it up there. Up where? And then blow in your nose, get somebody to like, until it up where oh I forget you don't have a way right. right. <laughs> some people bought some pickles and some ice cream. They were all drinking. Uh, I wasn't, uh, and and I, I learned a hell of a lot. I'd have to go through everything. The flatulence. Mm -hmm. What was that? The indigestion. Mm -hmm. The flatulence. Flatulence and indigestion. When did the flatulence start? Sometimes it starts early on, and mm -hmm. sometimes it's not till the end. But really, yeah. So you're kind of like pre-birthing wind. I asked them, uh, what are the symptoms uh, to be pregnant? And I was expecting a short list. I got a really long list. When you drink wine, you have to get terrible heartburn. I do. Flashes. Why did you bring home fish? <laughs> Don't you know I have an aversion to fish? A pregnant person smells different due to the hormones, and that's like in the cleavage and in the in the crotch. What? What? I don't even... The sciatica. Yeah. Oh. oh. The shooting, stinging pain, and a line right. down your butt. Right here. Being pregnant increases your uh, mucus levels all throughout your body. So you should have more congestion. Mucus? You should also be moist in the other <coughs> yeah. areas. The word moist came up many times, uh, but it wasn't moist as in like brownies are moist. It was a, uh, obviously an unpleasant moistness. So if you have like two things you can wear and they get wet. Wait you have a to second. wash them. Every day. They get yeah. wet yeah. with mucus? Mm -hmm. There's like well, and plus, never region mucus? Mm -hmm. Wetness. We'll just call it wetness. Wetness. Mm -hmm. Moist, you know, moist. She kept talking about moistness going across my body. I felt like a weather map and there was a moist front coming in. And you have to, you know, wash your clothes every time. Oh, and okay. you have two pairs of them. Yeah. Usually. Nothing fits. If everything's end. rolling off. I only have one pair. This is all clay <laughs> with buy. One issue that keeps coming up with pregnant women and the men who love them uh, is uh, boobies. The boob can also be tender, but it's the it's nipples, the nipples that yeah. the w water can't, it's like shards of glass coming out of the shower head. Shards of glass on my nipples. So That's I accurate. got pancake nipples. You got pancake nipples? The areola gets big sometimes. Pancake nipples, not only a great name for a band, but it simultaneously makes me aroused and hungry. I think if you had road rash on your testicles, the way that you would stand to keep them, the fabric from melting them, exactly right. would be oh, how you yes. would, like, you would put exactly. your shoulders in and you're kind of flexing so nothing, so it's really nothing touches. And God forbid anyone wants to grab them. I know being pregnant is hard and feels pretty bad on the body, but road rash on the testicles? Really? Uh, let's talk about sex. Uh, what's up with sex? And pregnancy. Nothing cylindrical was safe in the second trimester. <laughs> it was just like... <laughs> I think that's a, p a portion of our society that needs to be represented. Then the conversation got nice. There is also the third trimester in which the positioning is very complicated. Right. Right, so like now. We were still talking about things that are moist, but in a whole different way. So Jody would have to mount you in a very complicated <laughs> fashion. Want well, me to mount you? <laughs> I told you. Yeah, let's go. Right, yeah. So you're gonna go like this. Why Mount Owen? Because he's there. So careful, careful now. Okay. Now this won't hurt the baby. I know you might be able to hurt him. Now I get down like this. That's right. You can put your hands where they're coming. Feel like a pig. No, no, no. Now here, how's that for you, honey? Uh, <laughs> can, I, can I catch your pancake nipples? No. <laughs> oh yeah, is, is that good for you? Yeah, I feel, I feel it's good. good. All right. Well, I'm done. I learned a lot that night. Um, I learned uh, a lot about uh, what women go through, what it feels like uh, to, to be pregnant, what it feels like to have your body go through all these changes, um, what it feels like to have a woman mount you from behind. All in all, quite an education.